Hello everyone, my name is Axel Fuentes, and today we're going to be taking a look at this monstrosity right here. The VidPro XM55 Professional Video and Broadcast Microphone Kit. 13-piece set, comes with everything you see right here. So let's move this over to the desk and we'll get a closer look. Alright guys, so here we have the case with the stuff in it. And here's what we have. So let's start up here with the windscreens. So here we have, well, let's get to this in a second. Here we have one windscreen, this is the regular windscreen, which you would use pretty much most of the time. You'd use this indoors. And then we have this other windscreen right here, which is known as the dead cat, because it looks like a cattail. And this one you would mostly use if you were shooting in a windy place or if you're shooting outdoors. And then nothing else in there. And then here we have this ridiculously long cable. It's 26 feet long, which if you ask me is a little bit long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out right here and I'm going to replace it with this one right here, which is three feet because that's the length I need. Three feet. <laughs> it's a three foot long cable. Don't need anything longer than that. Anything longer is just ridiculous. There. So that's easier, better, harder, better, faster, stronger, and easier to wind up. And then here we have the microphone itself with the shock mount. And then here we have a grip, which I I don't use that much, honestly. I don't really see the purpose of this, and you can attach an extension to it if you wish. And here we have the regular clip with the shoe mount. Uh, now, some of you may have seen my camera. I use a, I use a Sony CX240, and it doesn't have a shoe mount. But I just got this uh, ha fan, this handy dandy bracket, which I'll show in a minute, um, which can mount to my camera, and I'll use this to be able to mount the microphone on there. Except I might use this with the shock mount, but only when I'm actually holding the camera. So let's get this case out of the way. Oh yeah, and also a couple other things that came with the with the microphone are these cables right here. So we have a short XLR cable, this is what, less than a foot. And we have this other one, whoa, totally out of focus right now. And we have this other one right here which is a XLR to eighth inch with a quarter inch adapter. Uh, so this is basically if your camera has an audio input, mine does not. So uh, that's how I'm using my Tascam recorder. Alright, so the microphone right here. Um, shotgun microphone. Shotgun microphones pick up sound best when they're aimed directly at their source. So you would aim this directly at the person speaking, for example, and it would pick them up perfectly. Uh, so all these holes right here are designed and they're placed there so that uh, the microphone will reject sounds coming in from all around. And they'll only pick up sound from the front. The actual microphone element is down here. Um, and then right here we have the switch, which has three positions. It has off, on, and low cut. And the low cut is not just a tiny bass cut, it's an actual low cut, and it cuts every low frequency uh, past like, what, 80 hertz, I guess. Um, and then if we, uns and then right here's the XLR output, and if we unscrew this right here, right there's the battery compartment. Now what's cool about this microphone is that it does not require a battery because it can run on phantom power. And my field recorder allows phantom power, so, I don't need a battery for this, I can just use it as is. Uh, so I'm going to get this set up now and we will give it a test. Okay guys, so I'm filming this next part on my phone so you can, you can actually see my camera. This right here is my handy dandy mini camera. It is a Sony HDR CX240 and it is a great camera honestly. Um, I've had it for about a year and my parents got it for me last Christmas. And there's my Tascam DR40. So my two recent purchases were this bracket here. It's intended for uh, photography cameras, and it has two shoe mounts right there. And also this thing is the other thing I bought, it is a shoe adapter for uh, quarter inch threads so it can go with, into another camera or this um, recorder for example. And on the second shoe mount is where I can put my microphone. So, that right here. Microphone slides right in here, and then I can tighten it down so make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, yeah, I really need to tighten it. Um, so yeah, you get the idea. So I'm going to put this phone on a stand and uh, I'm gonna film that. All right, so here I have the microphone. I'm just gonna slide the shoe on. I hope I loosen it first. Just 
magnet arm right there. And it went down a little bit because it was short. And I'll be sitting down, and there it is. So now all I gotta do is take this cable and plug the microphone in. Okay guys, so now you're listening to me through my XM55 shotgun condenser microphone. And yeah, it works pretty well. You can hear all the room reflections uh, and things like that. So yeah, it works great. And best of all, I don't even need to be holding a microphone and I don't need to have an, a microphone that's like this close to my face to pick me up. So <laughs> yeah, great microphone. So what is my final verdict? Five stars. It's a great microphone. All right, let's go over why. So number one, very affordable. It's about 80 US dollars, I think that's how much I got it, but I got mine like with a 10% discount. I don't, I don't remember what I paid for it, but very affordable, about 80 US dollars, and it's great for its price, which is number two. It's great for its price, Sounds, it's, sound is great, picks up everything clearly, not like other cheap microphones that you get a buzz or you get a hum or something, this one doesn't have that. So, great for its price. Number three, it comes with a lot of things. It comes with everything that you need to get started. So it's great for film noobs. It comes with the microphone. Oh, okay. It comes with the microphone. It comes with the shock mount. It comes with the clip. It comes with shoe mount. It comes with cables, battery, windscreens. You name it. it. Comes with everything that you need to get started. Mine is the really long boom pole, but in my case, I would never really use that unless I was um, being the cameraman and audio man for a, for a film or something. Um, and then number four is because. It's great because it runs on phantom power and you don't need to use a battery. Well guys, this has been the video review for the VidPro XM55 shotgun condenser microphone. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.